This is Jimi Hendrix, and this is a special episode, Preactive, Proactive, on Empower Your Pattern. Hi, I'm Jimi Hendrix. I am a motivational speaker. I am a success and thrive coach. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I wish to help those that desire more, that desire for a better and extraordinary life. And it is my hope to give you spiritual and temporal tips to help you overcome the adversity of adversities of everyday life. As you know, it's Easter is upon us, and I had had a plan to do a podcast for April Fools, but I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea for a show like mine. To put in an April Fool's joke. People people won't take me seriously in my motivation. And so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into that. Okay? I'm not gonna go into that. Instead, I wanna know that it's Easter. For those of you. Uh, happy Easter. And for uh, the Jewish people out there, whether Orthodox, conservative, reform, uh, uh, messianic. Happy Pesach. Happy Happy Pesach. Hope you guys are having a blessed time. I want you to know that this show is being recorded, pre-recorded. And um, we're having a special episode because I think, well, it's time to talk about the pre-active, pro- uh, proactive thing. You know. That last episode where I was talking about villains and everything. I have to be honest with you. I did that because I was called to do it by a friend of mine from college. And my mother. But deep down in my soul, I really didn't want to touch that. Because it really cut me to the very center I know I've said what I've said, and we're taking a break from this first season. I'm deeply sorry, but guys, we need this. We need a pre-active, proactive stance if you want to be successful, because I'll tell you something right now. I'll tell you something right now. Because of our reactive culture set forward by High Satan, Lucifer, the devil, the enemy of our souls, you know? I'm sorry, I'm going to preach it a little bit, okay? I'm going to preach it a little bit. The enemy of our souls wants us to hurt. He wants us to hurt. But he also wants us to where we can lose control. Okay? And so I'm going to say this regardless of what your faith is. You want a preactive, proactive culture that you can build for yourself. And follow in the success patterns. I'm just going to say this straight up. I know, I know... Podcasts I've said, you know, you need, you need faith in something, you know, understand whether it's God or the process. I'm going to say it raw, okay? This is raw content coming to you now. Alright? You need faith in God. You need faith in God. Because without God, you are sunk. Sunk. You're spiritually dead. Now, I'm going to try hard not to make it too much of a sermon, but i got to be honest with you. I sense that there's a lot of people hurting right now. There's people that want to be successful. I'm one of them. And there's people hurting. There's people hurting physically. There's people hurting spiritually. There's people hurting emotionally. And I don't know what it is. Ever since my marriage broke up, I have been sensitive. I have been sensitive to want to be there for those who are hurting. I don't I don't really know how else to say it. I'm if you are hurting, I'm deeply sorry. I I'm an empath. You have to forgive me guys, you know, when I do my coaching, I'm an empath. And so that's why I came up with the rules for Empower Your Pattern, which are going to come after the season finale. If I don't, if I don't just go ahead, if I don't go, just go ahead and do them right now. If I don't just don't go ahead and do them right now. 
Let's see how much time we got. We got nine minutes. Okay, we're going to do this. We need a free act of productive culture. You need to go by these rules, okay? Number one, love and believe in yourself. In, in the Torah, I mean, many of you that are of the Jewish faith, you know it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Achot. Okay? It says, but, And you shall love the Lord with all your, Lord your God, with all your heart, and with all, all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. And to love your neighbor as you love yourself. And how can you love your neighbor if you're having a hard time loving yourself, okay? You have shame. You have pain. I'm going to tell you something. That, that, that kind of reflects on how you relate to people close to you sometimes. I'm just being bluntly honest with you because I've had it by sad experience. I've had it by sad experience. And so, learning to love and believe in yourself. Believe in God first, okay? Believe in God first because He's going to be able to help you to love and believe in yourself, okay? Number two. Number two is know your audience, okay? If you're stepping into success, whether it's our pri private masterminds, I'm going to find out how to set up a mastermind group. We may do it virtual for a while. And then, you know, whenever whenever the public sees it, it's clear. Uh, twice a year, we're going to have uh, conferences you know, in the town where I live, called uh, Empower uh, Empower Your Pattern. And what it is, is four days. Well, three days, you know, for most people. But for like your, uh, your emerald, and you know, there's going to be placement levels for who gets what as far as how much, uh, what, what you buy in ticket prices and everything. But I haven't set up everything. There's a lot to set up. You know, the LLC and all that stuff. I'm going to say this right now. No, no, no. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. Because you got to know your audience. you got to know your audience. Okay. Number three. Success leaves clues. Now, this morning, I picked up the phone and called Toastmasters International. Because I expressed the desire to connect with an accredited speaker. Okay? I expressed a desire to, to, to connect with an accredited speaker. The lady on the phone, she was a sweetheart. She she's gonna send me the link that has all that has the all the names of the accredited speakers, the contact information, and I'm gonna look them up and see if they are a good fit. If they're a good fit, great. Excellent. Okay? Now number four, drama is out, pieces in. Drama is out. Peace is in. Because I'm going to tell you something. If you want to be successful, you don't have time for drama. I'll tell you something else, too. Hassan, Satan, Lucifer, he loves drama. He feeds on drama. So try to stay away from people in situations where there's drama. I've had my bishop tell me that. I've had mentors over the years in uh, network marketing and personal development tell me that. It's a principle. I had a guy today on YouTube. And what he said, he was cursing. He'd been given advice to form an LLC with some of his stimulus money. And he was cursing, saying he couldn't understand why he should form a business. I'm sorry. If you're somebody like that and you're listening to Empower Your Pattern, you got the attitude that you're not willing to listen to wise counsel, you really don't want to be successful. You're sunk. This, this podcast is not for you. Okay, now, I'm, I want to apologize. Number six, fix your, fix your mouth, stupid. And I know this is one that I've got to learn a little bit better. Fixing my mouth. Watch what I say. Because it's part of the Christian law of attraction. As he think up in his heart, so is he. 
and something in the Proverbs, you know, thou art ensnared with the words of thy mouth. And also, a man shall eat good by the word of his mouth. So, you think about that, okay? You fix, fix your mouth to stupid. Now, that doesn't mean, fix your mouth stupid doesn't mean der a derogatory thing. I learned this concept from a, a network marketing executive named Bill Britt. Okay, so this is, this is going to help you. This is going to help you now more than ever. You need to step into this. You need to hear this right now. Fix your mouth. You want to get rid of drama? You want to have a success cruise? You want to... I want you to think about this. I, I skipped the, the... Number five is create your pattern. I believe. <laughs> I get these mixed up. Um... I know, I know the last three, eight is getting inspired. Eight is getting inspired. And so, you need to get inspired. Um, number nine is correct, correct your pattern. Get rid of stinking thinking. If you ever start having stinking thinking, I, 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 I double dog dare you. I double dog dare you. Listen to Jim Rohn. Listen to someone like T.D. Jakes. Listen to my buddy that's in my podcast network. Listen to him. He'll set the record straight. Okay? Now, I'm telling you something. I'm telling you something right now. And number 10 goes along with uh, the sink of thinking. Enjoy good, clean living. Okay? Some people think it's cool to party, you know. Yeah, you see movies, you know, there's parties. Well, and sexual women are objectified. There is a rule I have on Empire of Heaven. Women are not objects, okay? Drama's out, pieces in, okay? That's the rule I'm going to preach until the cows come home, until I die and go to hip, okay? So you think about that, okay? I hope this helps you. I hope this blesses you. And I'm going to turn it, turn it down a little bit for my preaching. Because I also know that there's hurting people. And what you need to do. Is with Christ's help. Put your shoulders to the wheel. And push along. And watch what comes up. Watch what, watch what grows in your mind. Watch what grows in your mind. Because you can do this. Okay. Now, at some point, I'm going to go over the the, um, the ten rules. I only have eight in my book. So, the other two rules are for those that are willing to invest into my masterminds and my coaching. Okay? Now, I hope that you enjoyed listening to Empower 360. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the empower Oops. forgive the faux pas hope that you've enjoyed listening to empower 360 if you like what you hear please subscribe become a part of the empower 360 community this is Jimmy Hendrick saying do what others don't so you can do what others won't do what others don't so you can have what others can't choose act and pursue happiness God bless you